In this clip, Uncle Bob speaks on why stabilization periods are not the way to deliver high quality software and what to do instead. Does anybody here have a burn in period? A stabilization period? You know what this is, right? You've, you've got the release already, the code is already for the release, QA says it works and everything, and then, and then you put it in a system, and you turn that system on, but it's not connected to anybody, and then you watch it for a long time. It's not smoking. Looks like it's still working. You know, like, maybe if we let it work like this for another month, we could ship it. This is irresponsible. Time executed here does not tell you that the system is stable. You should already know that the system is stable. You should have the suite of tests that shows you that the system is stable. That little burn-in period is a false hope. Oh, if it runs for a month, then it's probably okay. No, it's not. And this is exactly why Daisho was skeptical of testing as a method for software verification. Not because tests are useful, but because they rely on your limited ability to anticipate every possible case. During a burning period, what you're really doing is outsourcing the task of finding edge cases, not to rigorous reasoning, but to chance. You're hoping that if you let the system run long enough, the failures will just emerge. But just as Murphy's Law reminds us, the worst possible failure will occur at the worst possible time. And the absence of failure during a passive observation window tells you very little especially if you're just watching a system running under ideal conditions. Coming up with a comprehensive set of tests may be hard, but relying on randomness is worse, because now, your release decision is based on vibes. And when the stakes are high, our capacity for self-deception is far greater than we would like to admit. Thoughts? Subscribe for more.